I just wanted to wish a, a good afternoon to everybody. Thank you for coming out. Uh, my name is Daniel Wagman, like Alex already said, and um, I'm here to talk about finding your passion. Um, I build race cars. That's what I do uh, most of my time. I'm also a student. I do that a little bit, uh, but this is my actual passion. So uh, it, it's a huge, huge, huge thing now. Um, it's been growing over the years. Uh, it's a big part of the mechanical engineering department and I'm really glad to be a part of it. Um, this is my second year as a technical director. Um, it's my fifth year actually on the team. So before I really get started, I wanted to give you kind of a thought. I want you to take 15 seconds to think of a time where you got so involved in something, so engrossed that you completely lost track of time. That might have been in school, at home, on the stage, on the field, could be anywhere. So think of a time where you lost track of time. So for me, as a technical director, that happens frequently. Um, this is a group of my students from last year. Um, we, we design and build a, a small formula style race car and we compete all around, well, there's competitions all over the world. Uh, this was in California last year. This coming year, uh, we'll be competing in Lincoln, Nebraska and also in Germany for our first international competition. Uh, it's been a huge, huge experience. Um, this is our 23rd year doing it. Uh, we just had our unveiling of the brand new car this last Thursday, um, and it looks great. I think we're going to do really, really, really well with that this year. For those of you who don't know as much about the team, um, like I said, we're an interdisciplinary group of students, mostly engineers. Um, there's around 50 of us, but we have engineers, we have businessmen, we have um, we have DX Arts, we've got a bunch of different background as part of our team. Um, I want to talk to you guys about getting involved in something like this, something that helps you learn and really apply what you've gathered in school. Um, this presentation is aimed mostly at students, new and old, but also if you're a parent or maybe an educator, take this into consideration and think about the people that you impact, your children or your students on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the team, more about the team I guess I should say. Um, we're broken up into a couple different parts. Um, there's, of course, building the race car. Uh, that requires a lot of design, a lot of coordination. Um, there's also kind of the more hidden side and one of the huge advantages of this team and it being part of my education. It's the administrative side. Um, we've learned many different things through that that otherwise I wouldn't really have exposure to as just an engineer. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, with that, uh, this is another picture of our car. Uh, my first piece of advice to you is going to be to get involved and get involved early. Many students these days take a while to figure out what they want to study, and that's fine, but that might be too late. You might miss something, and you might get stuck doing something you really don't want to do. Don't finish your days, however many you may have, wishing that you'd taken the chance to do something you really wanted to do rather than something you just got stuck in. Um, taking initiative and getting involved will help prevent that. This is a, a picture of our car from last year that we unveiled. Um, and my second piece of advice to you is to get involved in order to get hands-on experience. Another thing I can't emphasize enough. These days with classes, it's really hard to absorb everything that you're given in class and take that and actually learn it really learn it, not just for the next test, um, and take that where you can apply it somewhere. Get the hands-on experience to take what you've learned and actually found your knowledge in that. Um, the car for me, of course, is a, an incredible example of this because I've had a, a role in just about everything um, on the car. I've had different leadership positions over the years. I've been involved in the development of nearly every technical piece and part of the car. But I've also taken part in the administrative side, like I've mentioned before. So I've worked on tires, engines, websites, finances, you name it. Um, a little bit more about me as well. Um, I consider myself pretty lucky and a little bit of a unique case. I pretty much grew up knowing exactly what I wanted to study, or more or less, I should say. Um, mechanical engineering took a, little bit while, took a little bit longer to figure out, but I always knew that I wanted to either be a scientist or an engineer. I chose engineering because I wanted the hands-on experience. Um, there's something to say for building a race car and shooting flames out of an exhaust. That's a, kind of a unique experience that most people probably don't really see in college very often. 
Um, I started on the team, like I said, uh, pretty much my freshman year, actually a little bit before. Uh, it was a, I guess, a new student orientation tour of the department and uh, didn't really know what to expect at all. And behind two big double doors was concealed two race cars up on race stands. And as soon as I saw those, I knew immediately that that was something I wanted to get involved in. So being myself, I uh, did a little bit more research to get into, uh, to try to figure out what I would be getting myself into, or at least what I thought I'd be getting into, um, and applied to the team. Uh, shortly after, I was accepted and started taking on a couple projects here and there, just starting to get involved. At the time, I was the only freshman on the team, uh, which was a little bit strange, but also really cool. Uh, but quickly started taking on more and more projects, more and more responsibility, and getting more involved. Um, many of my friends and parents and uh, all that would say that maybe a little bit too involved at times, but that's a, a different topic. So um, I found something, and I found something really early, uh, which is a key thing. My next point is to use something you get involved in to broaden your horizons. I've already mentioned that this is not just a mechanical engineering project. This is a whole interdisciplinary thing. Um, one of the foundations of our team is that we don't just focus on your major. Every member on the team must participate in both a technical and an administrative project, which is a huge strength. Um, engineers stereotypically tend to be kind of uh, hermited and antisocial. This gives everyone on the team a chance to kind of branch out a little bit and study something that they might not otherwise um, encounter. With tuition increasing and more and more pressure to finish college early, you don't really have the chance to take classes outside of your desired major. Um, so it, it's important that you kind of branch out on your own and find something that you might enjoy, maybe something you didn't know about. Um, so for me on the team, like I've said, I, I'm obviously an engineer. I, I participate in that, that's great. But I've also had the chance to learn many things I would never have picked up otherwise. I've learned management, communication, motivation tactics, um, a whole bunch of different things. Um, I'm still not great at public speaking, but if you guys had seen me back in middle school or high school, completely different person. Things like this help me kind of break out of my box and become a better, well-rounded person in general, someone who can actually contribute to society more than just stuck in a cubicle somewhere. So I kind of want to emphasize and finish up a little bit here. A lot of this may sound kind of like an internship to you. In some ways, it is. But uh, an internship may be too little, too late. Uh, internships are great. I have one. I've had it for the last year, and I love it, in addition to Formula SAE. However, find something now to get involved in, something that you can spend time over the summer, time during your breaks, maybe even time during class. Not exactly during class. Go to those, of course. But um, find something that you can spend your time on, year-round maybe. Um, don't worry so much about your grades and GPA. Those are important, but that's not what you're here for um, if you're a student. You are here to learn and to become as founded in your knowledge as you possibly can. And ironically, that might mean that your GPA drops a little bit. I know, for instance, that mine has dropped some unquantified amount that I don't like to think about a whole lot, neither do my parents. Um, but don't be afraid to let that happen. Um, it's I can stand in front of you and say that if I had not done this team, I, I would not be as well-rounded of a person. Um, I wouldn't know nearly as much. I wouldn't have remembered stuff from my classes. So keep that in mind, that you're not here for a grade. Finally, I just want to say again, use something now to find something that you love. Maybe find something that you hate. Use it to build the you of tomorrow. That's what I did. Thank you.